Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will be creating a guess the number game. In this game, the computer will guess the number between 1 and 30 and the player has to try and guess that number. There is no setup required for this video, so we can get straight into the code. So to get to this page right here, we're going to come here and say file, open, and then just save it to wherever you want to save it. Oh, and to get to here, you just come down here, say IDLE, and it'll open this up. All right, so I've already saved it to where I want to save it, so we can start coding. So the first thing we're going to do is import a module. So we're going to import random, and you'll see why we need this a little later. Then we're going to just print out the rules of the game. So we'll say print out, or sorry, we'll say print the computer has picked a number between 1 and 20. Finish our quotations and make sure if you're using double quotations here, you double quotations there. And if you're using single quotations like I am, you use it on both sides. So the computer has picked out a number between 1 and 20. And then you have to guess the number in 5 tries or less. So we've just printed out the basic rules of the game. So now what we want to do is create a simple variable and we want to store our computer guess inside of it. But it'll be a little bit more complicated than that because the computer guess has to be completely random even to us and it has to be between 1 and 20. So that's where our import random comes in. So what we're going to do is create our variable computer computer I can't spell computer underscore guess is equal to now we're going to say random dot random one comma 20 so this is how we're going to get our random guess we've said random dot random so we're using the random function and we're passing in one comma 20 now what this function is going to do is it's going to completely randomly pick a number between these two numbers. So it's going to completely randomly pick a number between 1 and 20. Now we're going to create another variable, count, and we're going to set it equal to 1. And this is so that we can keep count of our player's guesses. And now we're going to create a while true loop. So we'll say while true. And so what a while true loop is, is basically anything we write down here now in our while true loop, it will run forever. It's going to run continuously until we stop the code. So now we're going to create our guess variable and we're going to say guess equals to input and we're going to ask the player what is your guess. But I actually want to do a little bit more than this. I want to tell them what number guess they are on. So the way to do this is that we're going to use something called an F string. So we're going to put F right there and then we're going to say what is your, sorry, we're going to use curly brackets. What is your count guess? What this does is after we put an F here, anything inside curly brackets has to be a variable. So we've put our variable count in here. So what the script is going to do is it's going to run through our code again and find the variable count and it's going to insert that number here. So the first time we run this, it's going to say, what is your fur or it's technically going to say, what is your one guess? And there's one more thing we have to do here is add our int function around this. And the reason we're doing this is because later on in the code, we are going to be comparing the player's guess to the computer's guess. And the computer's guess is stored as a number, an integer. So we also have to store the player's guess as an integer and that's what the int function does for us it automatically stores whatever we enter as an integer so now what we have to do is compare the computer's guesses or sorry we have to compare the person's guesses to the computer so we're going to create some if statements we're going to say if guess is equal to sorry we have to add two equal signs because we are comparing things and we're not assigning values so if guess is equal to computer guess, underscore guess, then we're going to say print, and we're going to add our f string, and we'll say you have guessed 
the correct number in. Count guesses. So here again, we're using our F string to insert the variable count. So if we get it right on the first time, it'll say you have guessed the correct number in one guesses. And then remember how I told you that once we run a while true loop, the only way to stop it is to actually shut down the program while well, I actually lied. Because if we're using a while true loop, we obviously need a way to stop it when the person gets the right guess. And to do that, we use a keyword called break. So whenever you put break in your code, what it's going to do is, can, is it's going to break out of the for loop or the while true loop in this case. So if they get the right guess, it's going to print out you have guessed the correct number in blank guesses, and then it'll break out of the while true loop. So the code will stop running. Next, we have to create an else if. So we're going to say elif guess is greater than computer guess. So now we're saying if the guess is greater than the computer guess, we're going to print out your guess was too high. Finish the quotations and let me spell that right. So there's one more thing we have to do here. We have to add one to the guesses count, the variable we created up here. So because they've made a guess now, we have to add one. And so there's two ways we can do this. The first way is we can say count is equal to count plus one. So there's no doubt this works. We're setting our variable count to count plus one. So even if count is now two, it'll become two plus one, three. So universally, it'll always work. But there's an easier way to do this. We can actually delete this last part and we can say count plus equals one. And this does the exact same thing. So let me create a comment here and say count equals count plus one, just so we know what this line of code does. And then we'll create another else if statement and we'll say if guess is less than computer guess, print your guess was too low, finish our quotations, and we'll do the same thing. Count plus equals one. So we're adding one to the count. And then we're going to create one more if statement, not an else if statement, but an if statement. And we're going to say if count is greater than or equal to six. So this is when they've run out of tries. And some of you guys are going to be like, wait, I thought they only had five tries. They do. But remember, we start off with one try because if we started off with zero, then it would say, what is your zero guess? And that doesn't really make sense. So we start off with one. So we have to subtract one from this, which is why we're making it six. So if count is greater than or equal to six, print, and we're gonna add an F string, our quotations, we're gonna say you have run out of guesses, comma, the correct number was, and here we're gonna insert our variable, computer underscore guess. So let's say our computer guess or let me add a period first before I forget. So let's say our computer guess was 10 and we didn't guess that number. It would then say you have run out of guesses. The correct number was 10. And then lastly, we're going to add a break because once they've reached their maximum number of guesses, we need to break out of the while true loop so that the code stops running. So that was the last line of code we needed to do for our guess the number game. So we can go ahead and actually run this. So we'll say file, save, and then run, run module. I do not know why it opened in here, but okay, that's fine, I guess. And I realized I've already made a mistake. I did not mean to make this a period. I meant to have a semicolon. Pretty insignificant, but I like having a semicolon. Save. Okay, what is our first guess? 10, guess was too low. 13, guess was too low. 16 guess was still too low Let's try 18 too low 19 and we have guessed the correct number of guesses in five or sorry we have guessed the correct number in five guesses 
So that's the end of our game. We have successfully built our guess the number game. Uh, we've used a module, print statements, variables, while true loops, if statements, else if statements, and just a bit of simple math. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something in this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Comment some more project ideas that you guys want to see because I love doing project-based learning. I think it's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching.